Hello, everybody. How are you? This is our first um, video with us on camera on purpose, I guess. Uh, we are Just Us Vegas. Uh, I call it that because our last name is Just. Anyway, welcome. Uh, we thought we'd do a video because <clears throat> we've been to Vegas recently and we know that a lot of people have questions and you know certain things that we did answer or tried to answer with video proof and then some we didn't. Um, but as far as just how Vegas changed, how it's the same, you know, different things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we thought we'd start with how Vegas has changed. Um, we stayed at Harris, New York, New York. We went to Excalibur. We went to MGM. We went to Casino Royale. Bellagio. Bellagio. And Cosmo. And Venetian. And Venetian. Circus Circus, did you say that? No, that's nine. I can count. That's nine. You can't see my phone. Well, no, that's because it's can't. four. Okay. okay. It's on purpose. So, yeah, so we actually ended up visiting nine properties. So, yeah, as far as how it's changed, uh, Bellagio and a couple other ones had, like, hand washing stations mm -hmm. and all that stuff. There was hand sanitizer dispensers, like, everywhere. Yeah, hence yeah. this motion. But yeah, uh, so yeah, that's definitely one of the things that we noticed. Uh, there was not a lot of mask wearing, which I think is in the news right now, mm -hmm. and it's almost going to become mandatory, so we'll see what happens with that. But, um, I mean, as far as that goes, or as far as the rest of it, um, I mean, it, everything was lit up on the strip. Everything looked great. Everything was beautiful. Uh, just, it looked like the strip that we had, you know, last been to in January. And, uh, yeah, not bad overall. Um, Thursday was kind of slow, but Friday night, Saturday night, Saturday night especially. Saturday night mm -hmm. looked like a regular day to us. Regular day, probably not so much a regular Saturday, but, yeah, just a regular evening in Vegas. Regular weekday? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Saturdays are ridiculous. It wasn't ridiculous. You could still walk through people, and there were still machines available. There was still room at the tables. But, yeah, I'd say it was like a regular weeknight. Maybe be like a Monday or Tuesday. As far as I can remember, um, I think there was only a couple of those casinos that uh, actually had dividers and stuff at the table games and everything. Mm -hmm. Casino Royale had no table games, which was interesting. They chose to take them out. I actually asked somebody, you'll see in the video we post eventually, I finally asked somebody and they said that they're going to do table games again in Jan uh, sorry, September. But for now, for the time being, they just figured it was better to just put in more slot machines, which, yeah, that was a, that was a little bit of a shock. That was Walking interesting. Through. Yeah. I'm about to say the sentence, the table games here have always been really cheap. Let me tell you what, you know, some of the, the minimums are and everything. And then there weren't any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, but it also allowed for more distance between the slot machines that were there. So mm -hmm. it's kind of, yeah, I don't think it was a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I think Venetian had dividers. And Venetian's poker room was open, too. I'm sure that's old news by now. New York, New York had dividers. Did they? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Venetian had dividers in the bathrooms between the sinks. That was pretty funny. Yeah, that was weird. I went over to it and I was like, this just, this just feels odd. But yeah, also, actually, one thing to mention, though, is every bathroom I went into, no matter the casino, there was someone in there wiping everything down after somebody used it. Like, somebody would come out of one of the stalls, lady would go in and wipe everything down like she was just... I found it to be very interesting. Like, there wasn't one bathroom I went into, but there was somebody in the bathroom wiping up after everybody to keep everything clean. Um, yeah, for the most part, I'll agree with that. Yeah. I, I think I saw that as well. Um, <clears throat> security, there was, um, oh, oh, yeah. there was a lot more security. Definitely. Um, Venetian, uh, Harris, when we checked in, they took our temperature and we walked through a thermal scanner. New York, New York, they took Same our temperature. Uh, Venetian, at uh, the door and on the way in the casino, we walked through yeah. the thermal scanners to get in. Yep. Um, MGM had nothing but... MGM was MGM was a mess. MGM should have waited a little bit longer to open. I mean, when you walk into a place and it looks closed, I mean, I don't know why you bothered opening to begin with. I mean, I'm assuming they did because it's MGM, you know. So I mean, it's going to be their their name. They want their name out there, which I understand. Hmm. But you you walked in there, went down the escalator because we came across from across the street from New York, from New, New York. York, New York. Yep, and. Uh, yeah, just as you're walking in, it's all, you know, the signs are all lit up, it looks nice, you walk in, and we're going down the escalator, and everything is closed. Not only was it closed, but I'm assuming it was a bar or something. It, the floor was ripped up to the point where I could see, yeah. like, the original, like, you could see the spray paint from, like, the contractors. And it's just, like, so I mean... They're I, working on it, but, yeah. I mean, 
just block it off. <laughs> but I mean, compared to everywhere else, I went, and I, I have watched a video recently since then that Living in Las Vegas did, and they uh, they went in the front entrance. Oh, yeah? The front entrance by the David Copperfield thing and all that. Was it nicer? It was definitely nicer. But they went out through New York, New York. And yeah, even the, the Same thing. even the kid was like was like, I guess this isn't open. It's like, yeah, really. It's like taken down to the studs almost. Oh, like so I guess kid. if you go in the front door the vibe is fine, but in the back, not so much. Uh, as far as any other major changes, um like I said, security was great. We were in Circus Circus and there was a really unstable looking gentleman that walked by us that was screaming or not screaming, but he was talking very loudly. Yeah at people but to no one but himself <laughs> about revolutions and protests and this and I mean the same amount sorry we're on a, I'm on a rolling chair I was trying to scoot over a little bit just so you don't think I'm having a seizure uh, <laughs> um, yeah and I mean they were the, cause the security was on top of him like really fast oh yeah we have turtles by the way that's what's behind us in the aquarium <laughs> it's an aquarium half full of water um, and it's got that little Thing to the right there or left the right we have two turtles in that tank just just so <laughs> they keep moving they keep moving you know, just, <laughs> kind of laughing at them so I can see them but anyway um but yeah they were on that guy pretty quick and you know just mm -hmm. kind of escorted him out they didn't jump on him or beat him or anything like that uh oh. no they were they were very restrained and apparently there was a giant protest the night we were staying in New York, New York, right in front of our hotel, but we didn't see it. And we had a strip view, so I don't know how we didn't see it. Oh. it I mean, I was doing, <laughs> I was trying to do so many time lapses and everything, I can't believe I didn't, like, see that or catch it on camera or whatever, but... Yeah, it was down uh, the street. I mean, the angle we had was more facing south, so, I mean, I think they were at the the, the intersection right next to there. Mm -hmm. It's from Canada Avenue, I think, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, aside from a couple of, you know, just random drunk people that seemed like they were a little too drunk, mm -hmm. I didn't, I never felt unsafe. No, I mean, not at all. If that guy was wandering around for another 20 minutes and starting to bother us at our slot machines we were playing, maybe I would have been nervous, but they were on him really quick and got him out of there. And as we were leaving, they were, they told him to leave and they were just, you know, standing by the door, making sure he could come back in. And he was saying he's going to wait for him after work and whatever, you know, the usual. <laughs> Yeah. But um, but we had front row parking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. Uh, as far as how it was the same, um, I mean, for me, it felt like the same old day. The vibe was the same. I, you yeah, know, just it less was, people. Yeah, it was drink girls walking around, drink people. You know what it almost reminded me of? Like, if you're just out late and everything's closed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you're, much. you know, walking through at, like, 4 in the morning and just those places that are open 24 hours are open because those were pretty much the places that you got food and everything. So it almost felt like you were just... Walking around in the middle of the night. Yeah, they're Except on, obviously the nightclubs weren't open. Yeah, they're on an off time or a slow, you know, season or whatever, and a weeknight or something. But yeah, for the most part, it was great. Uh, we we never had issues finding food in Harris. They had pizza cake open, which was great. That was um, very good. Yes. The little in the next door casino Royale had their had the Pizza Hut, the Subway, Hot and Josh. the other yeah the other place open, and it was that was fine. And I mean we. We're completely oblivious to a food court in New York, New York, that was on the second floor, and we that was open, and we still had no issue getting food. It was yeah. fine. There was always a pizza place or something open uh, during the day. Same thing. I mean, uh, the Crystal's Mall that we walked through, you could definitely. I mean, there was nobody in there, but it was kind of nice, so you could walk around. Yeah, it was <laughs> nice. But yeah. um, but as far as yeah, it was still it still had a Vegas vibe. Everybody that was out about looks like they were having a great time. Mask or no mask, people were just doing what they do, playing slot machines, playing table games. Definitely felt like it was like half and half with the masks, though. I mean, it was. Well, I'd say maybe even less, yeah. Yeah, possibly less, yeah. But I'm just saying, yeah, like even the people that were wearing it still seemed like they were having a damn time. Uh, sorry, damn good time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, so, yeah, as far as social distancing goes, I would say that it was. It was half and half. I mean, you know, people almost bump into you everywhere. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a place. Where social distancing is difficult, not only for people that are, you know, aware of it, but just in general. I mean, you still have all the people that, you know, you know who I'm talking about that just seems like they're just, <laughs> like, I, you know, walking forward. And it's just like, have you ever looked forward? Like, are you one of those people that just, like, goes off the highway looking at a billboard? <laughs> or just staring at their phones or whatever. Yeah, but like, seriously. For the most part, like, in terms of if you're waiting in line for something, 
you know, there, there's the spots on the floor to kind of show you where, where to stand, places that you know there's going to be a line, you know, signs everywhere, mm -hmm. posters everywhere, just, you know, you don't really forget about it. Especially, yeah, well, the slot machines turned off, they'll say, like, this is turned off for your safety. You know, mm -hmm. just things like that. Oh, I had, I had an issue with a slot machine, and I got assistance pretty quick. I had put in a five, and it slipped right past where it takes in money and just fell to the bottom of the It's actually pretty machine, impressive, so. but he just pulled it out and was just laying in there. I'm like, How, what are the odds of that? Yeah, really. Um, everybody was insanely friendly. Staff, restaurants, security, every, every single person that I ran into. Uh, customer service wise was couldn't have been nicer Definitely. and seemed happy and happy to be there and everything uh, as far as everybody joking about whether the slots are looser or tighter I didn't notice any difference at all no, gambling no. we did well some places we did bad others it was just gambling per usual sometimes you do well sometimes you don't <laughs> pretty much we had a couple of decent wins we had a couple of epic losses <laughs> you know Put in, got a little addicted to going in the high limit room and playing Cleopatra for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. It caught my eye, and I was like, <laughs> "We're definitely not high rollers by any means." But no, you know, we try to do, we try to do a little <laughs> bit every now and again. But yeah, it just caught my eye, and I kept going back to that, which probably wasn't the best idea because we blew quite a bit of money in that machine. But oh, and um, as far as things that are different or tighter, looser slots, whatever. Um, if you do go to Vegas, make sure you're using your card because they're giving you all kinds of bonus points for being there while they're reopening. We uh, we should level up next time we go. Yeah, Caesars and MGM both lowered their requirements to upgrade your card. So if you're, you know, bottom level at MGM, or just Sapphire, you can get up to Pearl. The next one, they're taking away five thousand points. So you instead of needing twenty five thousand, you only need twenty thousand. And Caesars doing the same thing to boost up from the bottom tier level to the middle uh, to the uh, next one. It's only four thousand instead of five. So. I mean, the same obviously goes in each tier, but because we're on that level, those are the ones I know. <laughs> yes, exactly. And, uh, I mean, besides that, I guess, I mean, the only thing I would say, like, if we had, like, you know, the hopes and dreams of going to Vegas in the future or, <laughs> you know, what's it going to be like and everything. Um, you know, I mean, as far as, like, the protesting and everything, you know, obviously I have no issue with that as long as it's not violent. Nobody's trying to bang in my hotel room door or you know, trash and casinos and co doing anything to make it so there's any other closures. Um, I know that they closed a restaurant in Bellagio because somebody had tested positive for coronavirus. I mean, I, if you're going to close things down, you know, I understand here and there. As long as they don't, nobody does an actual, like, shutdown again, because I think that would be it. Not it, obviously, but yeah. that would be probably it. That would be a really big deterrent. I would hate to um, drive to Vegas and be like, oh, I... Hope something's open. Yeah, I know. I've heard there's a few casinos in Arizona that recently opened that just closed back down. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't want to get into any of that stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, honestly, when it comes to coronavirus, I'm just more considered concerned. I mean, believe me, I don't want to be one of those people that all of a sudden needs a ventilator and, you know, you know, thoughts and prayers to anybody who's lost anybody because, you know, one death is too many. But at the same time, it's like you can't. You know, like, for example, like, if people would just wear masks and they keep the casinos open, just wear masks so they can keep the yeah. casinos open. It's really not that big of a deal to just do this and take a sip. Yeah, I mean, stop people you, just you know. hate it. They just refuse to do it because they're, again, that's, it's into this stuff, you know. Yeah, I understand. I mean, you know, maybe it'll stop you from getting, you know, trashed too fast if you're... Yeah, you, you know, can pace your drink. <laughs> I mean, some people definitely weren't pacing and drinking, but... Mm. But that's Vegas. I've had my fair share. Uh, the trip before the last one we had, I actually... Uh, forgot where you were. I yeah, went to the bathroom sorry. and came out, and I'm like, <laughs> looking around, I'm like, wow, I am plastered. Cause... I was sitting on the fortune cup machine, which is obviously, <laughs> you know, you got time between each round, so I'm betting, and I'm just looking around, I'm like, where the hell did he go? And all of a sudden, like, 20 minutes later, at least, you come back, and I'm like, yeah, but he fell in, and mm. you're just like, <laughs> 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 Nope, I just came out of the bathroom in Luxor and forgot the layout all of a sudden. Just... It was like, what way did I come? And it's funny, too, because Luxor is one we visit a lot, so I know my way around Luxor just fine, but every machine looked like just every other machine to me that day. But, uh, I know, I, I decided because I knew how drunk he was to just wait at the machine. I said, go to Luxor! 
But, you know, good times had by all. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that that's... Hey, we're going on 15 minutes. I don't want to bore people to death. I just figured, it, you know, we might... We've gone to Vegas a few times, and we usually have decent trips, so, you know, to go along with the videos, I figured I'd fill people in on, on what's going on, and what we saw, what we didn't see, yada, 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 yada. Uh, but, oh, overall, it was a great trip. It was fun. Um, everything, like I said, for me, the biggest thing is just being able to walk down the strip at night with all the lights on, all the neon, everything, you know, and just be like, wow, like, you know, what a... What an amazing! What a, I'm thankful for this amazing waste of electricity. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, just you know, seeing the strip and it's just beautiful. And the hotel rooms were clean, perfectly clean. Some of them had seals on the doors. Yeah, New New York, New York New York had the seal on it. Yeah. But I mean, everything was great. Every every casino we went into, except for MGM, seems like they did a deep cleaning and remodeling, including Circus Circus haters. Uh, Circus Circus was immaculate. <laughs> it was very, very clean. The, the carpet I would have laid on. Like, it looked like they... Yeah, they did. They, they did just the cleaned the crap clean. out of it. Touched up things here and there. Yeah, it definitely looked nice. Like, clean. all the railings and everything, and all, like, the columns had new, fresh paint. The the gold trim and the, the mirror trim and everything was, like... Like, it looked brand new. Yeah, it's nice to see that they took this opportunity to make sure they stiffy everything up because, yeah, I mean, Especially if you come back, it looks like shit. Oh, he's going to come back it again, so. Exactly. Not to mention, just for anybody thinking about it, um, the bad reputation the rooms get is from the motel that's attached, that's on the property but not attached to Circus Circus itself. So if you stay in Circus Circus and either the casino tower or the yeah, like other tower, You'll be fine. The rooms are going to be clean, smell good, look nice, have all the basic amenities you need, and they'll be, <clears throat> well, unless what's his face changes a bunch of stuff, it'll be a, a shit ton cheaper than everywhere else. That's the thing, too, is, I mean, if, if you're looking for some, you know, if, if you're used to staying at Bellagio or Caesar's Palace or Venetian or something, yes, you're going to be very upset and think it's a dump, but, I mean, you know, if you're one of people that's just like, I'm ah, just in Vegas, this is just a room. Mm. You know, it's it's perfect for that. You can get really good deals. I mean, I had free ones for the longest time, I guess, until the place got sold. I just I stopped getting them. But, yeah, I mean, it just mm. we could just go whenever, you know. It's not like we, we're not huge gamblers. Mm. We're not high rollers, so. You know, plus give it a year or whatever when Resorts World finally finishes. And that'll yeah. probably be a, a much better place. You won't have to worry about, you know, how far down it is. Yeah, it'll be more connected you know. to everything else, yeah. But anyway, yeah, actually, yeah, we hit the 18-minute mark, so uh, I definitely wanted to keep this around 20 or under 20, just so people weren't so bored. But uh, this is us. We're just us, Vegas. Um, I hope you like our videos. I hope this didn't bore you to tears or anything negative. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll try to do more things like this, and we think of more, you know, uh, more topics that would make sense to rant on for a little bit. But uh, yeah, so subscribe so you can see all that. Yes. Ridiculous stuff in future videos and whatnot. We and, appreciate uh, it. We try to do it all that we can think of. Reviews, uh, hotel tours, walking strip views, slot Just anything videos, Vegas. Anything Vegas. Because, Vegas, we might make a video about it. Yeah, because anything Vegas, we're pretty much obsessed with, like, we'll half of you out there that <laughs> might be tuning in right now. So thank you. And, uh, yeah, please subscribe and uh, look forward to more content coming soon. And uh, I have a gimbal, so now, so the uh, walking video <laughs> shouldn't make you sick. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, so this is uh, Just Us Vegas signing off. All right. Adios. We're bad at goodbyes. <laughs>